Hey guys, Genesis Frenzy here, and welcome to a ramble slash review of Cowboy Bebop. And yes, I'm posting this on Christmas because I have nothing better to do. Anyway, so yeah, Cowboy Bebop is uh, actually um, one I want to do for a while, but I thought ramble slash review would have just been like for movies I just watched and just for movies, but no, I'm going to branch out and uh, do uh, old movies or uh, not, rec not recently released movies and TV shows. And what, be what better way to start it than with my favorite TV show of all time that includes live action, animated, it doesn't matter, Cowboy Bebop. And uh, Cowboy Bebop, I, I really... I really don't have to say anything about Cowboy Bebop, although I will, um, other than go watch this right now. If you're an anime fan, um, if you're just a fan of any anything, it doesn't really matter. Just go watch this. I don't care if you don't like anime. Um, I, I don't care if... Um, I don't know, you're only a Dragon Ball Z fan, or you're only a One Piece, or you're only a Naruto fan, and you're like, oh, I don't like any other animes. I don't, I don't care who you are. Watch this show. Because, my god, you will not regret it. Because Cowboy Bebop is by far my favorite anime of all time, and obviously, favorite TV show. And... It is... And I mean this in every meaning of the word. It isn't, just, it, isn't, it isn't just fanboy talking. It is that Cowboy Bebop is amazing. It is an amazing show. Seriously. I'm not kidding. It's crazy. I mean, I, I watched it. I, Cowboy Bebop is, is something like... It, it's so, like, incredible. It's an incredible show. So, okay, I should explain why it's so incredible. Well, Cowboy Bebop was... It came out in 1998. It had an, its original run was... I think it was... Oct no, no, it wasn't October. It was, it was uh, May? Um, hold on, let me pull up Wikipedia here. Um, October 23rd, 1998 to April 23rd, 1999. And honestly, that is a pretty, that's pretty short lift. That, that is pretty damn short lift. Um, and that's, um, that, that's a real, that's a damn shame because this show is so awesome. But, but basically, um, shit, I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry guys, I'm kind of, uh, brain scrambled at the moment. Anyway, so Cowboy Bebop. It was made in 1998, and I, and I, I don't know what it aired on. Uh, it aired on Adult Swim, all this stuff. Anyway, so when, when I first watched it, I first watched it in Adult Swim. I watched it on the Toonami block, and that, that, this was in like, I think it was like 2002, 2003, somewhere around that, maybe 2004, I don't know. Um... And I, and, I, and when I was watching it, I started with I think it was like episode 11 or something. It, it was the one where they're on the spaceship and that they had to like goo attack them, um, uh, and it was like biting people and making them like really sick. Uh, yeah, that one. Um, and I was like, I, I didn't really think much of it honestly, because it, it, that episode is kind of uh, weird, to be perfectly honest. It's a really weird episode, so it's not really a good one to start out with, but but that's the first one I started with, and then I just, I didn't really watch it until I was on the internet, and I was reading top 50 animes, and I saw Cowboy Bebop at number two, and I was like, wait a minute, that sounds so familiar. I was like, oh yeah, it's that one show that I watched. That one that really I, I I barely remembered it, um, and I was like, hmm, seems cool enough. So I picked up. I still have those the DVDs. I have Cowboy Bebop Remix one through six, um, all the DVDs. I'm looking on right now, um, and I bought those, and I just wanted to try out the series. And when I watched that first episode, I think it was called like Ast Asteroid Blues. If I remember correctly, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Um, 
And when, when I first watched the episode, I was hooked. I was literally hooked. I, I would not stop watching the show. And I, I, finish, I finished the entire series in two days. Two days. I watched, I think it, I, well, I think I watched half one day and half the other day. Um, which, uh, which is actually kind of insane. Uh, well, th there isn't a lot of episodes anyway. Um, there's only 26 episodes of Cowboy Bebop and a movie. Um, and I think, uh, and I think that's a, that's a, that's pretty pathetic in terms of anime. I mean, some animes last, like Dragon Ball Z, for example, lasted 291 episodes. That's crazy. And then I think Bleach was like, I, I don't know. I think Bleach is like in the 300s. I don't remember. Don't quote me on that. It might be in the 200s. I don't know, but I know Bleach has a lot. Um, so yeah, Cowboy Bebop doesn't really have that many episodes. But, damn, it is it is qu uh, quality over quantity, because every sing nearly every single one of these episodes is really well done, and really interesting, and awesome. Just awesome. There is few episodes that are kind of boring to me, but th that's like one. I think there's only one episode that I couldn't really care for, and I think... I think that's the, um, I think that's the second one, and, cause the second one was kinda boring to me, but after that, everything after that, is, it, it's really good, it is insanely good. So, so yeah, that, that's just like my, my personal, personal, uh, recollec recollection of Cowboy Bebop. So let's get into the show itself. So Cowboy Bebop is about is about the uh, these bounty hunters, which is uh, Spike, who is he's the kind of like you know the the cool you know young doesn't care um, you know like badass that guy, and then there's Jet, which is the you know like the old retired cop, you know, it's kind of like like strict and all that. And, uh, that, that they start out with them, but then as, this, as the series goes on, they get, they get more, uh, they get more, uh, characters with them. In the second episode, they get, uh, they get, what do they get? They get, they get the dog, Ein. And the dog is, is, it's pretty funny. It's, it's kind of like a, it's comic relief. And then, uh, in the third episode, they get Faye Valentine. Um, and Faye's like, uh, she's like some, uh, sassy, she has an attitude. Um, she's, uh, she has a lot of, um, debts that she owes, so she's just kind of like, you know, on the run. Um, and she doesn't remember her past. And then that, that gets, that, that's like a whole subplot in itself, it gets explained later on. And then the final bounty hunter that they, um, that they recruit is, uh, is, uh, Ed. And Ed is by far my favorite character, because Ed is so goofy and so, like, out there and so weird. It's just, it, 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 uh, she steals the entire, yes, she, Ed is kind of androgynous, I guess, um, and, uh, she steals, like, every single scene she's in, because, damn, she is funny, she's funny, I, I really, Ed is out there, really, crazy, crazy character, um, and that, that's essentially their team. It's it's a dysfunctional family, and it, it and once they recruit Ed, it's it's done. The series is like it's it's done deal. The series is amazing at, from that point on because they have their entire team, and they have like you know all this all this variety in their team. Like they're not all the same. They're all different characters, and it's just so it's it's great. It is great. Um. So. So, uh, I guess I should get this kind of out of the way, the, the story. The story is basic. They're, they are, they're bounty hunters and they just want to make money. And that's pretty much the entire story. There is, there is, uh, I, I wouldn't really call it a subplot because it's kind of the whole, like, the, the, like, the whole, like, the main reason Spike is kind of, like, doing all this, I guess. Um... It, there's there's like a I, I I don't know if I would call it a subplot. It's it's pretty much the main thing, and everything everything after that is 
well, no, everything in between is kind of like, um, just filler, I guess you would say. Although it's not. Uh, there, I, I, I would call, I guess I'll call it a subplot. And the subplot is, is that there's, um, there's a, there's like a guy named Vicious. He's like part of the syndicate, I guess. I think he is. Um, don't quote me on that. And, uh, basically he's like, and Spike is just trying to find this girl named Julia, and I, I think uh, Vicious is supposed to know where she is, and that I guess I, I don't I don't I think um sp I think Julia I don't know if she's like the love interest. It's and I don't think she is. I don't think she is. I think she's just some like it's like what what Maria is to Shadow the Hedgehog. It's uh it's kind of like you know a very close friend and. Uh, I think it is. I'm trying to remember. I don't know. Anyway. Um, yeah, I just watched the series and I forgot everything that happened. <laughs> um, so yeah, he, and Vicious is like, he's pretty much the only recurring antagonist throughout the entire series. Um, and it's, it's pretty much like the the big, it's, it's it, and the, this plot really comes into play at the, at the, at the final episodes. Um, so you're probably wondering, okay, so what do you mean by it's a s kind of a subplot if it's the main plot? Well, Cowboy Bebop has a common complaint in that it is episodic. What I mean, obviously the show is episodic, there's episodes to the show, but what I mean is that it's basically, there, there's no real, there's, there's not a whole lot of continuity between each episode. Each episode is kind of like, um... It's kind of like its own thing. It's kind of like if you just an individual case in L.A. Noir. There's some continuity when you go to the next case, but pretty much the entire story that happens throughout the case is um is is like it's it's that thing only. It doesn't like carry on to the next case. There's no like part two. Although there is uh, two multiple parter episode um, sessions that th what they're called, and they take up two episodes. But other than that, there's um. There's nothing to it. Um, it's it's just it's a, it's a it's a um, it's a single episode story, and that and it starts at the beginning of the episode and ends at the end of the 20 minute episode. So it's not like it's not like some big huge saga that lasts like Dragon Ball Z or something that lasts like 40 episodes of one single saga. No, it's not like that. It's 20 minutes, 20, 22, depending on how long the episode lasts, that's how long it is. <laughs> so, and th that, people don't like that, they wish it was, it wish it had a big storyline, they wish there was more, like, Vicious and Julia involved, and like, like, that, that story, but honestly, I couldn't imagine Cowboy Bebop any other way. If it, if it was, I, I think, I, I mean, I do like a, a big storyline, um, with my animes, I do like that. Like, you gotta watch the first episode, or else you're not gonna get this. Um, I like those kind of stories. But honestly, I I think Cowboy Bebop may not be may not be as good it is as good as it is if it went for a big storyline thing. Maybe. I mean, I don't I don't know because it ne didn't happen. But honestly, I like the whole episodic approach to Cowboy Bebop and how it's like and in, in how like you don't need to watch previous episodes to get this like you can just start with this episode and then you can watch e every episode after that and it, it's not gonna matter because you know the story the storyline the storylines don't really carry over besides uh, obviously the characters stay and the vicious subplot so yeah, I do like that account about Cowboy Bebop. It's really it's it's really easy to get into, and it's it's even easier with all the amazing things that go into it. The story for each thing for each um for for each uh, episode is I, I I I'm bringing up Ellie Noir again. Um, it it's like if you go into each individual case, it really just sucks you in and immerses you into that into that storyline. It really does. It's like, damn, this is this is so good. I want to see what happens. I mean, I have been watching the episode for like ten minutes, but it's like this is this is so good. Like, 
the, the, it's, it's so well written, and it's, like, you know, so well, you know, directed and all that, um, that, you know, it, it, re it really, it really makes you, you know, like that story, and, and then, the next episode, when it starts a whole new story, you're kind of like, oh, I have to get into another story? Well, that's going to be easy, because, just like Ellie Noir, once you get into a new case, you're like, oh, that one just ended. I kind of got into that one. But hey, there's going to be a new one, and I'll get into that one just the same as I got into the last one. You know? It, it's, it's, it's like that, and it's really good about that. Um... So, I, I don't really want to spend too much time on them, we're already past, we're already at, almost at 16 minutes, and I expected to be like 20 minutes talking about this show, but, you know, that's just what Cowboy Bebop does to me. <laughs> so, so yeah, um, next thing is the art style. The art style is, it's, it's pretty good, I, I like the, it, it's kind of like a, a hybrid, like, they have CG in the, in the show, uh, it, it was. It, I think I read one time on. I, it might have been Wikipedia or something that Cowboy Bebop had like. It, it was. It was the first one to use like a CG and hand drawn animation. Like uh, both use them both, and that, I thought that's pretty interesting. I, do, I It really does uh, make the make everything look really pretty. Like it, it was revolutionary. It was like had really good animation for the time. Like really good animation. Um, and it definitely, like, you know, uh, revolutionized that. Um, so, th so the art style is really good. Um, now the, the sound. Cowboy Bebop's, um, English dub is actually probably the best English dub ever. Because, because the characters of this show really do f feel and sound like what you think the characters would be like there's there's no there's this is ain't this ain't no sonic xbs this ain't no pokemon anime there's none of that that's pretty you know bad but this is good like like Faye Faye sounds like exactly how i want her to sound like spike sounds awesome jet sounds awesome ed sounds exactly how i would expect ed to sound they all sound they all sound and they feel they feel like they're the character I, f I feel like I'm listening to this character talk to me and that's that's great that's great for an English dub in fact if, if you're gonna watch this if you're gonna watch this show and you speak English I would actually why wouldn't you speak English why would you be watching this video um, I would definitely recommend you watch this dub over sub because dub really does add more emotion to the um, more motion and immersion into the show, and it would be it, it would be it would be a crime not to watch the dub. Um, but you can watch the sub. I mean, I don't have a problem with that. I just recommend the dub over it. So yeah, and now I gotta mention the soundtrack. The soundtrack is awesome. I love it. It's 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 like spaghetti western jazz. In fact, just listen to the intro. For God's sakes, listen to the intro. It is awesome. I love the intro music so much. Oh man, I know I'm kind of nerding out, but whatever. This is just great. It is a great intro song. It rivals some of the best up there. Um. Yeah, and the, the, the soundtrack is probably the best in anime. I'm, I'm next to like a Dragon Ball Z Japanese soundtrack, uh, Robotech, um, and all that. So yeah, this, just listen to the soundtrack. Listen to just the the, the opening theme because you will not regret it. Anyway, um, and also. Uh, the movie. Okay, I'll talk about the movie now. Um, the movie is it's it's a pretty damn good movie, pretty damn good, and it definitely it definitely like adds it it really it really does add to the um add to it it adds to the epicness of the series. That's what I was gonna say. It lives up to the expectations. Say that it's pretty much it's it's a it's pretty much a, like a near two hour long um, high budget. Um, episode, really high budget actually. 
Um, I like some of the, the 3D effects that they do at times. Not 3D like, you know, what it is now, like this horrible 3D gimmick. I mean like, you know, three-dimensional feel, like, oh, the he's walking that way, you know, it's not a 2D image. I like that, and the movie is really good. It, they bring all the, the voice actors back from the show, um, so that's good. Uh, and it was actually released in theaters, which is pretty damn cool. Damn awesome, because usually anime movies don't make it into theaters. Um, I know Akira was the, one of the first ones back in like the 80s. Um, but I think now they're getting released more like the, the, those Disney ones like, um, like Spirited Away, Castle in the Sky, um, Secret World of Arietti, you know, those ones. Anyway, I don't want to drag this out for too long. Um, it was very influential for its time, Cowboy Bebop. Um, a lot of animes followed in its tracks, you know, how, how good the storytelling was and how, you know, and how, like, the animation was done in the dubs, you know. Um, people put more effort into the English dub. And, honestly, I think Cowboy Bebop all around is a great series. Really great series. I, I, I implore you to watch Cowboy Bebop. You will not regret it. The DVDs, I got, I got every, I got the... One through six, I got five dollars for each DVD. So six times five is thirty bucks. Thirty bucks, thirty dollars to own the entire Cowboy Bebop series is a steal. It's a steal, ladies and gentlemen. I, 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 I can't say anything else. Go watch the series. Once you go watch episode one through twenty-six, and then go watch the movie, and there you go. You watched probably one of the best animes of all time. Um. So that's, that's pretty much it. I don't really have anything else to say about Cowboy Bebop. Well, I do, but I'd, I'd be talking for hours. It just it is plus about minor stuff. I, I would go through every single episode, but I'm not going to do that because it, it, it'd go on for too long. So that's about it for this ramble slash review. Next one I'm going to do is going to be another um, like uh, movie. Movie or TV show, I don't know. Um, so expect that sometime soon. I'm Genesis Frenzy, and go watch this show.